so here we are, my friends, with Prince Cannoli. Sorry, King Cannoli now, of course. He's not Prince anymore. He is King because he's the one in charge. Now, we've only really just scratched the surface of the character. only really just started playing as him. And I asked, before we really dove in a bit too deep, what... Uh, oh, how do you think we should play him? Because he's, he's very similar in a lot of ways to our previous character, who was Ventral Paranoid Callus. You know, he was, uh, it was a, a very... It was a bad man through and through. This guy, though, is vengeful, as someone quite rightly points out in the comments. The only trait they share is vengeful, because this guy is arbitrary and deceitful. I, I really like some of the suggestions we had. So, the first big one was focus on that arbitrary nature. Now, to be arbitrary is to do things, you know, go by your gut, go by your personal choice, do it on a whim. Don't pay any attention to the laws or, you know, what other people uh, implore you to do. Do what you want to do. And as it says there, does his own thing as a little regard for others. So I think that it is very fair to say that we'll, we'll play into that kind of little regard for others. What, what other people think is right and what he shouldn't, you know, what other people believe is wrong is, is irrelevant to what Cannoli wants. And I was, uh, you know, I was kind of discussing this yesterday. We've got Prince Guy, who's not very good. You know, he's rowdy. He's good at martial. He's good at intrigue too, which maybe our current character has a little respect for. The other kid is uh, Comely, which is arguably, you know, better, an improvement on Prince Guy. What happens if we get that genius kid? You know, because the, or, or at least an intelligent kid, because this lady is, um, oh, I've just had a great idea. What if we could get a genius kid by... Killing her, getting Sicily into the family. And then, because that will inherit to our current character's son. That son dies and it comes back to us. Now, this guy being arbitrary would have absolutely no qualms at all about murdering his family members to get back his old titles. Biscotti has taken Latium. Uh, you know, another brother's taken Sicily. Another brother took Venice. This guy would absolutely kill them all to get them back because he's... He's arbitrary. He wants what's best for him. And, you know, what, what is best for him right now is getting back to his goddamn domain limit and taking all the stuff his father built up to make, you know, all of those really powerful intrigue buildings. Or, like, the university that gives him access to more knowledge, which increases his learning lifestyle. So, uh, sorry, his, uh, his, his regular lifestyle experience. So, getting that back will give him benefits. He knows that. Getting back Venice will give him a load of cash. He knows that. He's going to be well aware. He's an intelligent guy. Now... Someone also floated another idea, and I think this is great. When we, when this guy became an elusive shadow, he was so good at intrigue, he tripped everyone else into thinking he was an idiot, right? Not realizing that actually he's really good. Somebody said, why not be more... Why, why not tie into that and also use his deceitful nature to have this veneer of being a good character? Having high piety, good relations with the Pope, good relations with archbishops. Try and make everybody think that you are the good guy. Keep everything as secret as possible, whereas his father was very happy to be... This dreadful, horrifying man who just went out and, you know, because he was callous and uncaring, went out and fucked whoever he wanted and murdered whoever he wanted and didn't give a regard for that. This guy being deceitful and sneaky wants everybody to think he's a nice guy. And I think that is a fantastic idea. And that's exactly how we're going to play him. So, to that effect then... Um, We've got a few things to tidy up here because things are a little messy. <laughs> Air Alliance for Inherit Titles, of course, we should really try and get Sicily. And uh, this guy really does like his wife. Would it stress him out to murder her? Because the stress system, I think, is the greatest way of judging whether or not a character would be happy doing something. Because if it's stressing them out, of course, they're not going to be good with that. I think we kill her. Sicily goes to his child, and then we see whether or not he wants to kill Prince Guy. Uh, th now, realistically, how do you assess that a six-year-old is good at intrigue? Maybe they're, they're they're sneaky, they're a liar, but what he can see is this kid is the kid gets into mischief. He might be like, nah, I'm bored of you already. Arbitrary nature, just kill him. Just kill him, get rid of him, you know? Get the title back, too, and, and he again, our characters will inherit that title. And I think that's how we do it. And I like this guy. I like this guy because he's... We're going to have to play him more carefully because Cannoli, I just sent it and hoped that we got the best outcome but didn't really care about the consequence. This guy, we should care. Now, a lot of people are also saying we should do uh, some tours and or tournaments, much like our DLC would imply. I don't want to look at you. Um, so really going on a grand tour, right? For a couple of reasons. We could do a majesty tour. Have everybody think he's just doing it to be like a great guy, a nice guy. We could do a taxation tour, but I don't think that's necessary when we get our lands back. I think that, uh, I mean, look, an intimidation tour, if we're going to be deceitful, I think the majesty is better. Just do it so that we can be like, hi, vassals, nice to see you gain some vassal opinion, win them over. They think he's a good guy, actually, he's a piece of shit. 
we could travel uh, to a load of places and people were saying, hey, hey, you should travel around and go and see, um, you know, all the different areas. But more importantly, get a load of experience. Get all that stewardship experience so that we can get, uh, you know, uh, trading hooks for payments and stuff like that. And I think I think this is all a great idea. First things first, though, before I get too swept up in everything we've got to do. I think the family members die. I think the family members die. And I think the family members die to allow us to thrive. Not endorsed by your archbishop. Let's sway him. Let's sway him. Let's win him over. Let's get the papacy on side. I'm, and we could be like, Pope, I'm so sorry about what happened with... Obviously, look. If legally we can go to war, if we have a Cassis Belli, which we absolutely do, we can go to war against the Pope. But we can try and win the Pope over. We can try and win the Pope back. Sure, we might not give back Rome because this guy can be like, look, you know, uh, 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 his father got Rome. Okay, his father was an evil guy. He got Rome. It's kind of part of our dynasty now. I'm sorry. Like, legally, it's ours, even though it was done by horrible means. Um, I think we will go for a job done, right? For the hostile scheme success chance up by 25%. That should pretty much round out all those. Yeah, 95, 95, pretty much across the board there. So that keeps that nice and safe. Prince Biscotti dies. And what good brother would suspect another of poisoning his wine cup? A toast to his health. And sadly, <laughs> his health ran out a little bit. My agent slipped the poison into his goblet and watched it dissolve without a trace. Only when his throat swelled shut did he realize something was wrong. He is dead. Oh no! Somebody killed my beloved brother! My beloved brother, Prince Biscotti! How could this have happened? Terribly sad. Ah. And now we'll take back all our titles. So, um, what did we lose then? So, Sicily is gone, which we will take back. Uh, oh no, no, Sicily, I wanted to give away. What did we lose? We lost, like, like Venice, I want to take back. Meringue has a lot of kids, so that's going to be hard to tidy that up. We'll keep going with Latium. This kid dies. Latium comes to us. Now, we can check our, like, like titles we're due to inherit, right? Somewhere. Um, air in line to inherit titles. I've got to find where that is, because this interface is not something I check very frequently. CK2 three interface, definitely better than CK2, even though I do think CK2 is a bit more intuitive. You, you knew where you could expect to see things. How do I see what I'm lined to inherit? Latium, Rome, Tivoli. There we are. Okay, cool. So if I, uh, if I hover over that, maybe it's in the realm screen. Is it in the realm screen? Um, succession. Titles lost on succession. Uh, if there is an easier way to see what you're going to inherit, please do let me know. If that's the only menu we can see it, so be it. Obviously, we're losing larger text to, um, uh, to allow people to see things easier. So it would suck if we, you know, had to remove that. But there we go. Let's get rid of this tiny kit then. How close are we to being able to get... Twice schemed. Oh, it's still going to be a long time. It's going to be like minimum five years, right? Yeah, it, it's 12 months minimum, so that's okay. Now, somebody said, and I love this idea, and I will find this for next episode. Somebody said that that fake papal tiara that Morang bought all those many, many years ago has sat on the heads of many, many great, powerful men. We should get a mod to upgrade artifacts. Because this has gone from just being some fake costumed papal tiara to the crown of a whole dynasty. Being able to upgrade that just makes so much sense. So I'll see if I can find a mod that will allow us to uh, to do something with it. We're not going to negotiate alliances yet, I don't think. Um, we can change the nephew's contract. He's, I am about to change his contract with life. Don't you worry. Um, can transfer someone to... Oh, no, 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 no. Palaima's mine. Messina, we're going to take back too. So I don't want to be dishing that out. We're just going to build things up. It'll be fine. Um, spouse. We have no available spouse. Oh, of course we don't have an available spouse. That's another arbitrary but correct reason why she needs to die because we are missing an entire counselor her stewardship alone will allow us to hold another domain if we have her on folks on domain of course she dies we marry a genius we get we get that good genes into the dynasty this guy being an arbitrary deceitful very intelligent man would would understand the benefits of good breeding <laughs> frightening uh wife wife this guy, whereas Cannoli might confront uh, his wife directly if she be he believed that she was uh, cheating on him. This guy, he's not as callous. He's deceitful. He will look into it. She's also deceitful. That could make her a... De she has a lover. She has a lover. Duke Cad Candido. Everyone must know of your infidelity. Everyone must know of your infidelity. And in this man's mind, do you think that would give him, even though his children do look like him, do you think that would give him, oh, though his wife's also ginger-haired, 
Do you think that would give him pause to think my, this rowdy idiot child and this attractive child, it, uh, uh, neither of which he is, by the way, maybe they're not his children. Maybe she's been having it off with him all these years. Maybe she has to die sooner. I tire of this fast. I could consider divorcing her. We could divorce her with a dagger. I need time to think. Let's, let's just, I need time to think because we're vengeful. The other one is he cries and begs and he would never do that. He would never do that. It's just going to stress him out either way because of the, because uh, of what a mess this is made. Uh, Prince, oh, only a 79% chance of killing Prince Kasasa. He's getting a little intrigue maybe. He's a, he's a very good character. Oh, he is a genius. So he's probably quite hard, uh, a little bit harder to track down. Spider. The spider got him. Spiders do not talk, so the attack cannot be traced back to me. You are in a lot of trouble when one day you, spiders do talk, my friend. This is good. We're getting away with it. We're keeping up that veneer of being a nice man. As far as the world is concerned, we've done nothing wrong. We have a lot of secrets, but I'd like to see people try and find them out. Got to be careful at feasts and drunken blabbering. That's the only thing that could be a big concern. Um, Judica Kasata II and Messina. What do you think? Why first or domain first? Well, look. This guy is ultimately vengeful, even though I think it makes more sense. As an intelligent, arbitrary man, I think he'd be more, more interested in getting about the university so we can learn faster. Simultaneously, she's wronged him. She dies. She dies, and the realm inherits Sicily. Wife, goodbye. And this is, again, going to be a very easy scheme that I think we could probably crack on with very fast. Um, guy learned Italian vulgar. From his vulgar mother, what happened? Oh... The betrothal broke, or actually, more specifically, somebody died. That's unfortunate. So we've lost our alliance with the Byzantines. We could try and do something else, to be fair. Um, you have a son that maybe we can marry off. Um, range betrothal instead of range marriage. That's fine. Uh, between, preferably, yeah, preferably your son. My niece and your son. That won't be an alliance, but there's no one else, really, is there? There really is no one else I can go for on that front, eh? I've got a son. Has he got a daughter? Can we do something with that? Uh, he does, but she is long married and 33. Um, has he got a sister? He's got nothing. Maybe they'll have another kid. We'll keep an eye on it. Oh, his wife's pregnant. Pregnant for seven months. Oh, by my calculations, we've only got to wait oh, maybe like one to three months before she has that baby. And then, well, I suppose could never be three months. <laughs> and then if it's a daughter, which we had a 50-50 chance, and luckily we got it this time. Your son to my daughter, he will not accept. What if we go for a grand wedding? He still will not accept. So I think that's a good excuse to fabricate a hook. Get them back in the fold. Again, if we're fighting the Pope, we need an external realm that we can marry into. And, and basically Byzantium is the only one we can do it with. Oh. Rest in peace, old guy. Someone has murdered Prince Guy. To be fair, saved him a job. Saved him a job. That is one less kid for him to murder himself. Ooh. Um, okay. Uh, I think we're going to go Court of Shadows so we can go prepared for anything sooner. Enemy hostile scheme success chances down then. We need to kill the wife before someone kills the son. Because if someone kills Cannoli, if someone kills Cannoli, we then haven't got any children. She had a child. What am I to do with this child? They call her Gaburga. Gaburga is going in the river. She is an unlegitimized bastard, so we haven't got to worry about any inheritance there. Wife, you die now. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Ooh, Aldonza died. She died of old age, but it didn't really stress him out. He didn't really give a fuck. <laughs> he's very... He's very callous. I know he's not actually callous, but he's very callous. Um... Killing a child. Are you certain about this? Yeah. <gasps> We're at 95% secrecy, but the wet nurse blabbed. Oh, no, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. The wet nurse was caught, but was executed in anger before she had a chance to confess my involvement in the crime. Oh, my God. I misread that. I thought I said before she was executed, she had a chance to confess my involvement. Oh, Lord. Okay, 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 okay. Whoo, that frightened me for a second. Congratulations, team. We're back. We're back in control. Um, ooh, some of these are quite nice, aren't they? Is Tivoli better than Terracina? 
This one gives development growth and better taxes. And we could upgrade it. For Rome. The upgrade gives barely anything. It gives them prestige. Um, Do I want to keep Tivoli over Terracina? They're very similar. But this one has a unique holding. So I think I'd rather kill that. Uh, kill that? I'd rather keep that one. Um, oh no, Tivoli's the capital. All right, well, I have a giveaway. Um, yeah, we'll give it to someone with... Ah, oh, Martino Polo. You sound very good. Here you go, my friend. Enjoy. Nice. Okay, Rome. Tivoli is good. Um, what is this one we've got here? My city holding. Uh, at least under a Grandmaster of the Knights. Hospitality. Look, if it was a previous character, I'd get rid of him. He can keep it. He can keep it. It's not a problem. This man is not his father, and that's important to remember. Palermo. So we lost Mallorca, but actually I gave that away intentionally, didn't I? So we've got to get back Venice, too. Uh, my brother has Venice. My brother has many children, too, so that could be a problem. You die. We start the plot on Cannoli. Kill his own child. We can't kill his child. You can't kill your own children in Crusader Kings. That's correct. Right. Okay. So, um, my brother, Prince Morang, begins the slow descent into murder dying. Then, when the wife is out of the way, we could maybe fabricate a hook on someone, invite them to court, marry him that way. I'm sure we can find a genius somewhere out there in the world. Maybe a genius plus something else as well. Another inheritable trait. Again, I've, the one thing I've never done in Crusader Kings, as far as I recall, is uh, strengthening the bloodline. I don't think I've ever made, like, one of the, um... The, the very the very good characters. The, 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 the three congenital trait characters before, so that'd be kind of good. Strength and bloodline, what do you need for that one? Oh, sorry, consecrate bloodline, what do you need for that one? Uh, the Pope has a high opinion. We also need religious icon. That would be a sick goal for this guy. Because it's such a flex that this evil murdering bastard becomes a, a religious paragon, right? Investigate her. And yes, once again... I'm going to reveal it. I'm going to reveal it. Everyone will know of your treachery. We're going to reveal it in the hopes that maybe someone else wants to join our plot to have her killed. Uh, who shall we make suffer? Shall we make the whole house suffer? I will make Candido suffer because you're vengeful and arbitrary. All of their house will pay for it. We're in a house feud. We are in a house feud. They were not able to kill his wife. But if at first you don't succeed, we kill her again. We're in a brutal feud between our houses. We accused him of infidelity. We don't need to accuse him of anything. They have a, a public child together. And now this whole house has to die. 71 living members. We don't have to kill the whole house, of course. We just have to win the feud. Um, send a child to university. No, all his child, uh, it's child's. His children are shit, so we're not going to touch that. All right, back to murder, I suppose. Is there anyone we could invite into the plot? Now, look, I love the idea of, of uh, people have already joined. This guy isn't paranoid, though, right? This guy isn't paranoid. A little bribery to bring this up to the maximum chance? Couldn't hurt. That's something we were never able to do with our previous character because he was so paranoid. But in this situation... Oh, our culture has discovered Romanesque art. Very nice. In this situation, I'm happy to do it. Oh, if anybody... Again, uh, sorry to reiterate. If anybody has a fix for the art tab not working, please do ping me in Discord or something like that. I still haven't been able to figure it out. Um, so I've just kind of... I've kind of shelved it for now. It's a shame because it looks like an incredible mod, but... I can't figure it out. <laughs> I've disabled every mod, so I don't know what's doing it. That's a point. Um, that's a point in Antiquarian, at least, and the court physician. Court tutor probably wouldn't hurt as well. Here you go. We can afford it. We're back up to 42 gold a month now that we've regained a lot of our old holdings. Once we get Venice back, the money's going to come flooding back in. So this is this is great. I think we're off to a fantastic start. I can't believe we haven't been caught by anything yet. Um, should we learn Dacian Volga? No. Nope. Mumble something that sounds like Dacian Volga and hope for the best. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Velish tells me of a local celebration in Napoli. The home of Queen Augusta is struggling with money. If it's held, it would draw a lot of people, both high and low, a perfect area to infiltrate. We don't need to do it. We're already at 95, 95. This guy is very confident in his plot, and I think very, very much correctly so. I don't necessarily want to waste so much time on... Uh, oh, we had an event popping up about a Weaver. I thought, well, give us some money, whatever. It's 40 gold. I don't want to waste a huge amount of time on just bringing the round back together, because this guy has so much potential. He's about to turn 40, so... It's a little frustrating that, that, that a lot of this time is already being being thrown away a little bit, but 
I, it, it is a necessary evil. <laughs> it is evil. Pure goddamn evil. But it's a necessary pure goddamn evil, huh? Um, station some troops around again. We'll station those in Cagliari. Um, you can go to wherever. Honestly, it doesn't matter there. Go there. And then um, knights can go there. There we are. Very nice. How are those looking? Those horsemen. Again, they're doubled when they're in Rome. It's so powerful. It's so goddamn powerful. We might not even need any allies. We are arbitrary. So there you go. Actually, doing all of this murder is is totally acceptable and, and not only totally acceptable, I think justifiable. The character's happy to do it. And again, I think stress is the biggest in, uh, indicator of how to play characters correctly. Spiders do not talk. So sadly, we will never be caught. No, sadly for his family. Uh, now we will go through and murder all of our nephews. All of our nephews until we get Venice back. And when we get twice schemed, I think we should probably use that third scheme to go out there and and do some do some things out there in the world. My friend Marin stops him in the hall with a beaming smile. Oh, there you are, Cannoli. I've just spoken to Chiara. I heard she's weaving a representation of everyday life for you. Oh, great. They're close to forming a friendship. Oh, but it might be of a slightly lower quality. Oh, he's distracting her. I know you're Prince Biscotti's real killer. If you wish for my silence, you must do as I say. Fine. Fine. Normally, I would be like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. But with this guy, we've got to keep that veneer going. And and now that he knows we're a murderer, he needs to die next. So let's finish this plot against Augusta. No. Look into it discreetly. Let's reveal it again if we can. Candido has done it again. He has diddled my wife, and he's also blackmailed me. Everyone must know of your infidelity. That will... Look. Again. Do Candido cuck hold at you? The scales are tipped against us. I knew that was going to happen, but for the murder plot against him, he can cuck hold us as many times as he likes. I only have to kill him once. It's going to make people hate him more because he's a, he's a sinner. He's an adulterer. So we can get more people involved in the plot to murder him horribly. And that will be the last time he ever cuck holds us because our wife is going to be slain by highway robbers. Oh, no. As the travel party stopped to camp for the evening, bandits poured from the trees, calling for blood and gold. A queen being attacked in the wood by bandits. That's not suspicious. That's like, uh, that's just a common thing that would happen. She should have hired more guards. I remember when my wife died under mysterious circumstances. Reap what you sow, cretin. Most of the bandits were slain in the fighting. No one will ever know of my involvement. Amazing. And now, her lover also dies. My son is now uh, king of Sicily. S -S 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 Sicily. <laughs> We could kill him. We could find a creative way to kill him, I'm sure. We, we could find a creative way to kill him. We'll keep an eye on him for the time being. Um, now, we murder you. You get murdered. Because he knows the secret that we're a killer. We want to kill him anyway because we're vengeful. So I think that's a reasonable... Whoa. Why would they do that? My liege, I've heard what they call you. They call you King Cannoli the Devil. Why do they call him the devil? He hasn't done publicly anything wrong. I guess it's because he's vengeful and deceitful. People know he's vengeful. If people know he's deceitful, clearly he's not doing it well. I guess people know he's a bit dour. He's a bit grim. He's a bit frightening. Skulks in the shadows. People just know what he was trained to do, right? Okay. Um, a coup de grace. We kill her, his sister. Starts a murder scheme against her. I mean, we could. Who's that going to end my plot to kill? Yeah, the devil's a bit rude. Um, I don't know who it cancelled. Okay, it cancelled the scheme against the, the kid in Venice. Oh, God, I've got hiccups again. Please forgive me. <laughs> um, that's fine. That's okay, right? I don't care about these. Point of new successor. I really should pay more attention to this, I will admit. Actually, the knights are doing well. Rare change of pace. Staying on top of this non-stop has, has really allowed us to get some, some benefits from these. What are we getting right now? We are getting um, martial lifestyle experience, men at arms efficiency, dread game per tyranny, martial from that one. We're getting uh, cavalry modifiers, which is really good when our cavalry is already like nuts. Number of knights, control territory advantage, all some really good stuff there, and we'll just keep that on the back burner. Making a lot of money. I really should be spending this on something, right? How close are we? Why is that disabled? Oh my god, because we lost the Duchy of Sardinia. We lost the fucking Duchy of Sardinia, and now, because we've given that away, our capital... Well, I think we lost inheritance. We Our capital building is no longer active. Well, what the hell duchy did we keep then? We didn't keep any duchies. Latium, we just got back. We, we, 
I- I've got to take this guy back. He'll never see it coming, given his eyes are in different postcodes. Um, can I just, like, revoke it? This is, it's an act of tyranny. We could fabricate a claim on... Sardinia? I feel like I have to do it. Oh, that sucks. You have no claim on this title. Piss. Because, of course, our capital building was giving us so many great benefits. Hostile scheme success, personal scheme success up by 15% is crazy. Shit. I would love to build one in Rome, but we can't build a duchy building in Rome. I guess because it's already got so much unique stuff. It's got the Colosseum, which counts as a special building. And then it's also got the Aurelian Walls. Uh, replace it? <laughs> Am I going to tear down the Aurelian Wars to build a palace? That seems very arbitrary. <gasps> Wait a second. Um, no, I don't think we will. I think I think really we should keep that. Because that's, that's like so unique. We can never get anything like that again. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay. I, oh, obviously it's, uh, it's... Because they're so powerful, it makes sense. King Canoli is curious. I'm curious about... Whether or not you're actually this character's child, we, we, we really just can't, just straight up can't murder him. Maybe eventually we could abduct him. We, we can do some creative ways to kill this kid. Put him on the front lines in uh, a war or something. Oh, no, we can't because he's a ruler. He's, he's a ruler. What if I am his guardian? He would accept. I bloody hope so. Is there any way we can just get rid of you? take you on a tour. Maybe we get an event where you drown and I just say, yeah, don't save him or something like that. Shit, I just don't know. What is this? Get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know how to how to begin pursuing it, but we'll figure something out, I'm sure. Okay, sorry, this is going to get very messy for a while. Um, oh, God, that guy's good. It's going to get very messy for a while. Oh, tapestry. Thank you. Is it good? Tyranny loss plus 10%. Hello. I'm supposed to be the good guy. That's actually very nice. So we've also got digging for dirt there. Um, we could replace one of these shitty banners, right? Glory Hound Vassal Opinion from Frederica's Tapestry. Frederica, you can piss off, mate. That's a terrible tapestry. Um, yes. Slap that one up there. What about a stag hide? That's better than the Godwin Dynasty banner. Yeah, I can piss off. Honestly, I'm just going to auction that off. Although we are a descendant of House... No, we're not a descendant of House Godwin. We're a descendant of House of Normandy. Sell that off. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. That's actually much better. That's a, that's a great improvement. Lots of extra renown we're getting from that. Obviously, it's going to take a very long time before we can do much with that renown, but there we are. Um, how close are we to another Dynasty Legacy? Actually, pretty close. Oh, don't open the Dynasty tree. That's a good way to crash the game. Um, oh, it's not that far off. It's not that far off. And then we get the final tournament option, right? Now, given that we're just sat here waiting for uh, plots to develop, schemes to carry on, Feline Hunter. Oh, a cat. Yes, we'll take a cat. That's some free intrigue for us, right? We've got to name it. Now, the last cat, our father, our father had a cat, so maybe, you know, he was childhood friends with that cat. A cat was called Mame. Um, we're a kind man, at least on the surface. We're going to call it Sunshine. We're going to call the cat Sunshine. That is a great name for a cat. Everybody's going to think, oh, he's not that dour. He's not a devil. He's nice. Oh, Gondo broke down, and we're happy about that because we're a piece of shit. But, of course, no one is supposed to know we're a piece of shit. Court cool, grandeur, money, thank you. Earn some renown, of course. Thank you, Archon Morang II, you frightening frog-looking man. Pet Sunshine. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have to worry about stress because this guy is so vile, but that's pretty good. Should we redecorate the Grand Hall? That's only really worth it if we want to get some um, that Court grandeur, right? Just introduce a new fashion at court. I want people to think that he's quite innocent, quite sweet and innocent. What better way to do that than to buy everybody some new clothes? Oh! Obviously, lack of piety. Okay, we're working on the piety, though. Amphrith the third of Capua has gained Latium. The Pope just gave someone else a claim on his title. Jesus. Um, okay, this woman hates my... Charida Horteville hates my outfit. We've largely lost prestige. Right, you're going on a list of people to kill. <laughs> is that arbitrary? Yes. Yes, it is. Today, I'm witnessing the execution of a heinous murderer who's killed many in Rome. This man's guilt is assured without a doubt. Before he was caught, the officials could not catch the criminal. However, he made a mistake of murders. An old man who turned out to be a veteran of many battles. The deaths of murder victims are to be avenged. We have gained... We, we lose stress because we're eventually we gain prestige. Notorious murderer executed for a little bit of control. We do need some control in our counties, right? What are we lacking? 
technically are in Tivoli. That is building up. That that lack of control is, you know, a side effect of our previous character just being pure evil. Um, we don't need to spend money on this. This is going to be a murder plot that we're going to succeed with quite well, I think. Let's go on a grand tour. And again, let's go majesty tour. Let's win over our vassals. We want to be able to go the distance. So I guess we'll go up to um, furthest, really. We can go out. Castro Giovanni. Opinion of you, minus 100. Wow, all the vassals hate us. That's something we're going to have to work on. I guess we'll visit you first, then. Okay. To all the grounds. I enjoy a hosted dinner, increasing opinion with the vassal. Or, yeah, let's do that one. And then we'll go up to here. And then let's do, again, the same thing again. We might as well stop there. And then go through there. And then we'll go over to there. It's a bit messy. Or maybe we start in... Hold on. Let's start in Mallorca. Okay, we go from there. And then we're traveling all the way back by a boat. Ah, it's a, it was messy. Sorry, let me redo this. This is, a, this is a dump. I think... I think that makes a little more sense. Oh, it's gonna cost 4,000 gold to do that. Shit. Ah. Uh, maybe we forget about Mallorca entirely because it's, like, very inconvenient. It's 2,000 gold. Maybe we forget about Sicily entirely because it's a bit more inconvenient. We just snub them. That's still going to cost 1,200, but there we go. Um, If we ramp up the entourage, go all in on the luxury, it's going to cost us 2,400 in total. And we would go there for... Justice? No. Recreation? Lechery? Altruism. Yes. Altruism. We want the people to believe... We're not going to lose any stress with this, but we want the people to believe that we are a good, kind, nice fella. Caravan Master. We've got an excellent Caravan Master, so that's pretty fantastic. Um, we do need to hire experienced captains, and we do need to hire... Oh, what's the other danger here in one location? Is that lack of control? A mountaineer. Well, that's what we need to hire. Okay. Takes us down to two medium dangers, which is fine. It's going to cost us a total of 2,484. So let's keep this in mind. And of course, we're going to have to do a load of detours too. So I'm going to get like uh, the mine for some experience there. We'll travel all around Italy getting just a bunch of like stewardship. Is there like intrigue experience out here? Lots and lots of stewardship. But honestly, stewardship is really what I'm after. You're getting 350 prestige due to Sons of the Capital. Oh, for visiting the uh, sites of Rome. Oh, sick. That's kind of cool. Stewardship, stewardship, stewardship. Yeah, we can't actually get an intrigue from a tour. We might actually get some pop-ups for it. But yeah, it's all stewardship. We might even uh, go over to Ravenna there. San Vitale to get a little bit of extra stuff, but let's save up. So we're going to save up at least, I think, 2,600. Give us a bit of a safety net. That's fine. Do a little murder for a while. Oh, and speaking of murder, <laughs> the cask of wine for my enemy. This is only the beginning. Or we end the, uh, we end the feud early. We're not going to do that. We're not going to. We need to kill our nemesis at the very bare minimum, and I want to get the best outcome this guy isn't stressed by ending the feud right because i think again we want that veneer of being a nice guy Ooh, we got him we got him we got him and we got away with it again it's only the beginning we lose 100 stress because we eventually we killed our nemesis we gain 150 prestige as well beautiful that's a good start ah Hello! What a delightful day it is. The wind is refreshing, the sun is warm, insects chirp happily in the undergrowth. Every We're trying to be a good guy, and this man's cheering because we just murdered someone. Uh, it's all because that worthless Bampot Candito is finally blessedly dead. I can't contain my grin as a train of his friends and family file past me on the way to say their last goodbyes. Maybe don't stand next to the funeral procession cheering. We're trying to be a good guy. Ah. Oh. Though he can't now say a word to stop them, I bridle somewhat the thought of his family having the temerity to tactically defend his honor. Uh, the procession passes me, heading to bury the body. I'll wait until nightfall and then set off with a shovel. Are we going to dig him up? Dig him up right now. The night air hangs still and silent. The only noise that can be heard is the scrape of my shovel, dislodging the freshly heaped dirt with ease. Slowly, the heap besides the grave grows larger, and the body of Candido is exposed once again to the fresh air it had been parted with all too recently. I rip the cloth covering his face. His lips are parted, drawn back in rictus grin. Soil and grind still cling damply to his neck as I disregard him. Grasping the shovel once more, I line it up with that same neck, the metal sharpened by my own hand earlier today. It's home to a wicked edge. One stamp, two stamps, three. I'll make you useful for once, and we turn him into a skull goblet artifact, or we feed his head to the pigs. This character has some suspiciously fat livestock. No! I want him as a goblet. <gasps> Izanado is now our new nemesis. He grew up hating us. 
It's a consequence of the feud between Luca Orvieto and House Carling. Well, in with one, out with the other, I suppose. Get murdered. <laughs> right. Okay, that's good. And now I think we go back to Venice and start tidying that up before they start breeding over here and getting out of control. Um, too far away. Ooh, that's a problem. Are you being educated somewhere? Why is he up in Bulgaria? His guardian is in Croatia. I don't understand why that child has disappeared. Is he an unlanded bastard? Why is he just off? Was he kidnapped? Why is he on the other side of the world? Well, that's annoying. Unlanded. Why are you there? Why are you there? Did I say Bulgaria? Obviously, it's not. I know, I know Bulgaria is down here. Um, yeah, that's it's like here specifically. That's, uh, yeah, no, that's my bad. But why is he there? Why is he in like Siberia? <laughs> well, leave him to it, I suppose. Oh. Oh. Oh, he was already murdered. This guy's continuing the feud. Okay, well, I'll murder you next then. Doesn't really matter. Oh, well, that's nice that they're all de uh, so detestable shitbags that everybody wants them dead. That really makes it handy. Oh, we've already been exposed with that one. Of course, if we had our, uh, <coughs> if we had our family palace, it would be a much easier job. Can we upgrade it even though we can't use it currently? Somebody said there's a way you can set a delay on these popping up. Hold on. Oh, thank you, common sir. You are a genius. Look at that. That's made everything so much better. Um... Can we upgrade it even... Uh, no, because we don't have the title of Sardinia. We still can't upgrade it even if we wanted to. Balls. Okay, well, let's keep saving up for that tour then. Hello. Greetings, King Cannoli. Uh, it's come to my attention. The lawless fugitive has been seen staying in your court. Um, hand him over. Hand him over. Yeah, we're trying to be a good guy. We're trying to prove to everybody that we stay to the letter of the law. And what better way to do that than to comply with the requests of, of lawful foreign realms? Oh. What happened to Sicily? My my child was deposed. When did that happen? We weren't even bloody notified. Can we, like, kill this kid now? We don't want to kill the kid, obviously. Ah, well, in that case, Horteville will take him back to Sicily, but we will um, we'll take back Horteville, don't you worry. It's minus, minus set, minus set back. Okay, kidnapper. That's good. Maybe I can kidnap my own child. Does that work? Kidnap the child? Kidnap the child and then we just instigate revolt. Oh, that's funny. Um, We can't kidnap the child and, like, throw him in the... You don't have a trait allowing you to do hostile schemes against your own children, such as sadistic. Oh. Okay, maybe there's a way around that. Maybe there's a perk or something in, like, the torture tree that we could do something with that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes here. Um, okay, so we've almost got total counter control back. Everything's, everything's going well. Everything's doing fine. Bon bon appetit. Alfonso Carling. He's dead. All the bakes in the area question. No trace of foul play beautiful. That's what we like to see. Um, now we kill... Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't think I can ever... If we kill this kid, this kid will come back to Venice. Then we can kill him. Ah, uh, that's fine. It's alright. It's not that much of a problem. Um, I guess we'll just try and abduct him instead. But if I abduct you, I have to execute you. And to execute you is, like, public. So that won't work. Oh! Instigate a revolt on this guy. He revolts against me. I clap his cheeks. I revoke his title. Forget about fabricating the claim. Go back to religious relations. Make the Pope love me. Make the Pope love me. Does the Archbishop endorse me now? Because we've been swaying him pretty... Yeah, pretty consistently. I could also send him some gold, but I think that's entirely necessary. I think instead we'll start swaying the Pope. If we can win the Pope over... Because he's given out claims. I've got to try and win him over. You know, I've got to try and win this man over. And of course, we can get married. Totally forgot about that. I didn't forget about it. I was waiting for the right moment. I didn't want people to think that we killed our wife. And, uh, you know, if we remarried too soon, people would be very suspicious of that. <clears throat> anyway, um, my niece, Sybil Carling, is comely and genius. We also don't have to worry about the inheritance stuff. We're not marrying down or anything like that. Um, honestly, I think that's not bad. We are related, so there would be potentially some inbreeding. But we're getting a lot of prestige from that. We're getting a thousand prestige for it. So that's good. Because we're marrying a relative of Pano Chocolat. Now we're father. <laughs> it's weird. It's arbitrary. But he has very good reasons. He has good... Well, again, again, having good reasons isn't necessarily what an arbitrary character would be. But that's fine. Let's go on this tour then. I think there's a final thing we can do today. Let's go on a tour. And let's, uh, let's head out there. Let's see what we can see what we can see in our own realm. So, Grand Tour. Well, I don't want to go again. Let me set this back up. This is very complicated stuff. I also like that we're doing this, this, this tour to go and see people. As we are, you know, simultaneously about to make someone rebel. 
That's kind of good. That's kind of good. I like that. Oh, shit. It was actually more expensive than it was before. I'm not sure why. Am I going in a different order? Am I doing something weird? I'm not sure. Here we go. Um, start the Grand Tour. Whoa, no, 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 no. I need to change my route. Customize route. Oh, gosh. I thought I'd ruined everything. Um, right. So we want to add from Cagliari. We want to go to there. That's good. We're going up through there, around there. Fine. Oh, very few dangers, actually. We come up to here. Um, I think from... Uh, where, where's our destination? We're going to Pisa. From Pisa, we want to go to here. Right. From there, we want to go down to here. Might as well hit all these sites on the way. That's, that's nice. I like that. Do you want to hit that one? No, I think from there, we'll go to Orbitello. Then from there, we'll go to Viterbo. Then from there, we go down to Rome proper. We jump across the Tyrrhenian Sea. That should give us enough stewardship lifestyle experience to... Oh, I feel feel bad about missing that one. Ravenna via Ravenna. Um, let's add a stop to here because it's like literally the next county over, right? So we do a bit of a tour. It's not massive, but it will give us a good amount of... Um, you know, a good amount of experience. It's going to give us a good amount of stuff. In fact, we could go like via that way but honestly that's fine do you want to go any further down italy because this is like the same price to to travel to all these places it's just time and to be fair what else are we doing right now besides murdering a bunch of people and waiting for the murders we, we can we can coordinate the murders while we're away from court it might drop our success chance or something like that, that that's always possible um we go from aversa to benevento we go from benevento down to like here Okay, that's going to hit all those places. Then we go from here to here. There you go. And then we go from there to all the way down to here. Um, no, oh, too many, too many, too many, too many places. Too many places. Way too many places. How long has that been going? 37 days. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Missing all this does kind of suck a little bit, but that's fine. Okay. That's good. That's good. It might have a lot of dangers. You've got to bear in mind all those extra dangers we're going to get now from going through, like, forests and shit. But it's actually only medium chance of danger, so I'm not really too bothered. I can't wait. Let's go then. Okay, there's 200 stewardship lifestyle experience immediately. How much do we need to get the... So we need 1,000. So we're definitely going to get that. Then we get golden obligations. That's amazing. Um, what I'm a little concerned about is... My plots. Has that had any impact by the fact that we're traveling? Success chance. Hasn't changed. Hasn't changed. So we could put there. Um... Nobody wants to join us in the plot either. Okay, fair enough. So, so it hasn't adjusted. It's just we've lost a lot of success chance because again, we lost our capital, right? Which is a bit frustrating. Um, this one's been exposed. Honestly, I might... Oh, but if we can kill him, we can end the feud with like a big victory. So I think we'll do it. As we trot upon the outskirts of a little crossroad, Hamlet, fearful commoner, approached me, his eyes wide with relief. Thank goodness you must help us, good lord. My party and I exchange dubious glances. Bandit deserters have been preying on our village for days. Um, game bandit bane for 10 years. Ooh. Random chance for an entourage member being wounded. I mean, it would absolutely suck if it was, uh... It would suck if it was uh, like a caravan master or more specifically our person who's, oh, what is it, uh, the ship master who's going to ferry us across the sea. That's a good chance that we die. I'm going to give it a go. We've got to try and keep up that facade of being a nice, kind man. While simultaneously in the background here, we're murdering children, trying to win over the Pope and, uh, you know, taking back titles from our family members. Good. Thanks for the diligent efforts. Uh, we found a safe shortcut. Very nice. And here we are. We're going to have some dinner with Archon Morang, the man we are scheming against. Very good. I receive a welcome worthy of a king. Ah, oh, very nice. There's a little doubt the splendor of my train has made a great impression. It assures me that he only has the finest foods. Very good. And a bit more prestige. It's always nice. It's always nice to get a lot of prestige with these characters. Again, we're here for altruism and kindness. Ooh. Sunshine. The cat is killing rats. That's good. 37% chance we kill this child. Uh, look, 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 look. I think the risk is too great. So we're going to say, uh, rethink it and hope we get some pop-ups that we can, we can do things. Our benevolent presence has made our tour more majestic. What do we get the highest rank? We get some sort of opinion. Ooh, every vassal gains 40 opinion or every, uh, parochial vassal gains 40 opinion. Every vassal you visited gained 25 opinion. We also gain, uh, iterant liege. Um, no, it, 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 
itinerant liege. I don't know what that word means. 15%, uh, okay, so it's just like good stuff. Just like good stuff across the board. No, no problems there. Um, something tragic, something light. Which is more successful? They both have the same. Something light. Again, he's got the nickname of the devil. So we're going to tell a, a good story about how kind we are. The story was impressive. That's great. We get a little more majesty. I'm really hoping we can max out the majesty, but I didn't really spend maybe as much money as I should have on doing that. It's been a long and wondrous evening of reverie and merriment. Many a goblet of mood has been shared across me and my good host, Archon Morang of Sardinia. However, it seemed that he's been trying to drink more than me, always filling his goblet a little higher. Uh, do not underestimate my prowess, or don't try it. You see, that's a Star Wars reference. Thank you, Paradox, for that. As you go across to getting a hook on him. Ooh, 86% chance that we beat him in a drinking competition. A hook and majesty. He rejected the challenge. Damn. We lost opinion of him. Sadly, we didn't gain any benefits there. Um, everyone knows of Candito's cuckolding of me, but what, the, what about the future? We're continuing our feud. We only gain capable family. No, 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 no. Let's keep going. We've got to clap some real cheeks here. Like our cheeks were clapped. Um, Emperor Harriman of the Holy Roman Empire, our distant relative, he's like our great, great uncle, has uh, written a story about us. The mightiest men must leave the earth, no matter what rounds they've given birth, and when their final hour nears, hope they shall, hope shall they, and their name brings cheers. Yes, we do. Harriman, I can see this is truly heartfelt. We'll have him murdered later. <laughs> a tasty treat. Oh, dear. Okay, there's a 0% chance he dies. It's possible he could have eaten enough dessert to kill him. A, di a, a different character, a weaker man, could have died from this, but not this guy. Um, full of desserts for five years. A small boost to health. Uh, does not work in real life, trust me. I'm living proof. Uh, you must stop. Gain the piety. This guy's not a greedy fella. He's intelligent. He knows you can't eat all those desserts. And now we're out of our piety dearth. That's good. Thank you. Shall we demand tribute from him? Or shall we make no demands? Look, at the highest level of mercy, this is kind of expected. At the highest level of, uh, uh, sorry, of, of majesty, he's going to get an opinion of us anyway. So he's just going to spend some prestige. He might reject, but he might just end up spending prestige and doesn't lose any opinion of us. We're just not gaining opinion. I emerge from my slumber after another peaceful night staying with Archon Morang of Sardinia. As I regain consciousness, I feel something heavy that was beside me. I feel the familiar touch of a woman gliding her finger inquisitively across my breast. This was unexpected. Um, he has given us a woman. Hello. Uh, he is actually fine with it. So we're going to go with it. Again, play the character. He's not, you know, lustful or anything, but he loses stress. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, he's not married or anything. So we'll, we'll stick with it. Becomes more majestic too, more importantly. Oh, we actually made friends with him. Oh, he gave us a special gift to wake up to. That's amazing. He refused though. It's a crime. We can imprison him. He refused to give us that honor. What a piece of shit. Okay, we've got a quarrel between the Archbishop and uh, Baldwin. Uh, I'll have no more of you at it, see, you heartless buffoon. He stamps his foot in the grass. You're the one who's whined on this entire journey. Are we there yet at every crossroads? Um, surely you two can make amends. 29% chance we try and win them over. Do it. He leaves our entourage. Oh, we lost the bishop. Damn. Okay. Well, here we go then. Our tour became more majestic, and let's begin our second round. We're up to majesty level two. Actually, with four stops. It's very possible we can do this. 37% uh, chance to kill that kid. Nope. Oh, actually, was that high chance of secrecy? I should have just gone with it. That's okay. Um, as I finish my meal, another board is placed down in front of me, but this time it's topped with little game pieces. Surely you know I am famed as one of Corsica's finest chess players. You stand no chance. If you lose, he gains a weak hook on us. If we win, he gain we gain a weak hook on him. Uh, but it becomes more majestic. We do it, and then we just say, intrigue, 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 and we slap him down. We stare at the final piece. I did it. I won. The game of chess is mine. Why do you keep playing against all these smart characters? We can say, yeah, an excellent match. Or how does it feel to lose all men? He's not his father. His father did that against a child. We're not the same type of guy. Uh, can I win the match? Excellent. We get a favor on him. We've won over a lot of vassals. The other guy might have, you know, refused to honor us. But maybe that's because he's like, oh, we're friends. I don't need to do that. This guy, we've got a hook on him. It's going quite well. Ooh, now a plot on the child is improved significantly. 250 gold to deliver a hook. Uh, to deliver a bird that might help out with the success chance. 
I think it's worth the... Oh, he, he took it. He took the messenger pigeon. What a fool. What a fool you are. Uh, Astin, who is constantly astonished me with his intellects, is a true thinker in our day. There is so much potential in his skills and traits. Um, shall we bring this guy to our court? He is very good. He could disappear into the night. We can use an intrigue challenge against Gregorio II and just recruit this guy. We're, we're deceitful. Oh, we failed. Your failure did not go unnoticed. Oh, is he going to be upset about me now? Okay. My liege, I've been contemplating the matter and I've come to the conclusion I cannot agree to the request. He is far too valuable to me and my court. Why trade something when I can take? That's tyrannical. We never would. This guy's too kind. You would never do such a thing. And another entry poke. That is twice schemed. Thrice schemed. Okay. What do we want to do with this extra plot that we have access to? We can do a little more murdering. I think getting Venice back it should definitely be our top priority. The extra gold it would give us would, would certainly bring in a lot. Um, let's also kill a sister. There we go. To Gregorio of Spoleto. What's that one? Archimarang the second of Sardinia. That's due to get that plot going, but that's going to take forever. That's okay. That's okay. 23 months with a high success chance. It's worth being patient with that one, I think. Someone's choking. I can save him. I can absolutely save him. It's prowess and learning. We might save his life and become more majestic. And I think we did because our majesty did go up there, though we didn't follow up on that. Uh, it's time for tribute. We'll always take the tribute. And he did. He did. I'll remember this or I owe you one. No. No, that's fine. Um, I was awaiting my dessert. When it finally arrives, I can scarcely contain my elation. This guy fucking loves dessert. A pious confection in the shape of a cross has slid over to me on an ornate plate. The thing is so intricately decorated it's as if God himself had made it for me. God himself had made it for me. Uh, of course, I love it. The only question is, how can I show my appreciation? I remember this. Thank you, my friend. We're up to Majesty level three. Uh, this guy, we did save his life. Um, you owe me nothing but your company. He becomes our friend. And we become even more majestic. Or you owe me your life. And he joins us. No, no, no. You owe me nothing but your company, my friend. This is go This is exactly what we wanted with this guy. We're making so many friends, so many allies. This is great. Oh. Did this guy just get the... Oh, my God. He became a paragon. Sick. He, uh, he's the one who got the um, that the decision I was like, I want to try and take with this guy. Amazing. Good work. I enter Bastia ready to bestow my royal touch upon the locals, but I'm faced with what undoubtedly the most, uh, the most wretched creature I've ever laid eyes on. With minimal provocation, she exposes her callous feet just inches from my pristine hands. Much as Christ washed the feet of his disciples, I am implored by God to wash the feet of his subjects. She has consumption, pneumonia, and great pox. Blessing for you, a bad memory for me. Oh, perhaps a light touch on the forehead will do. Or get these filthy sa sausages away from me. I thought I said savages. I was going to say that's a bit strong. Um, yeah, a light touch on the forehead will do. I'm not going to risk becoming ill for this. And here we are. A new place for a delicious dinner. Let's do it then. Bombard Appetite, 95% chance, 72% chance. Uh, sorry, 95% uh, secrecy, 72% chance success. Kill him. Hello there. Another evening in my stay of Damianu of Pisa's home, different Damianu, with yet another foreign meal is placed in front of me. I knock it around a little with my knife, watching as, it, as the dark and familiar sauce slides around like mud. Oh, just some simple pomegranates would be fine. Okay, you know what? Don't ask for local food. Just take the L on this one. You might get some tasty dessert. We killed the child. The child is dead. Good. And nobody caught us. The feud continues. What's another child? What's another child on the pile of childs? This, this, this guy is like pious, prestigious, liked by his vassals, making a lot of friends here. Not super liked, not university liked, but, but like liked enough by his vassals. And in the background, he is murdering children. This is exactly... I'm, I think this was a great idea. Thank you, comment section. This is my fault. You, you, you lot wanted me to murder all these children. My hands are clean. Am I really going to steal from his court? This guy wants to come with me. He wants to join me. Um, no. No. I'm going to be a shoulder to cry on. We're not going to risk upsetting the vassals when we're trying to be so kind. And all these people are going to think, this guy's an idiot. He's a pushover. He's coming to our court. Yeah, he's being so kind and eating our food and subjecting us to all these old things. He's a fool. They probably think they can plot against us. They probably think they can do things of their own, not realizing that we are genius. Ah, he challenges us to chess. You moron. We, really, if we're deceitful and we don't want to raise suspicion, we should throw the game. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm such a fool. You don't want your vassals thinking you're an idiot, though, right? 
Just beginner's luck, I suppose. Oh, he actually won. He actually won. Wow, the better man won. Ha <laughs> ha. Kill him. Put him on the list of people to kill. <laughs> we won't forget. We won't forget. He was unfriendly. You see that? He, even though we said the better man won, he slapped me down. Uh, dinner this evening is different from what I'm used to. The cook lackadaisically dropped the bowl in front of me, and I'm immediately met with the most unworldly aroma I've ever met. This dish from the depths of hell is offensive to all the senses. Some slimy grey substance sits in a pale, foamy, foamy broth like an untended chamber pot. Down the hatch, and we might become ill. You lose stress because you're deceitful. But let's feel touch my tongue. Ah, oh, he's deceitful. Play it. Oh, actually, it was incredible. It was a delicious dish. Thank you. Tribute, please. And he did give us the tribute. Um... Are we going to take this guy with us? No. Go where your heart pleases. Again, it's going to stress him out, but he's a deceitful man, and we should be throwing up this veil, even though it's not who he is. In this situation, I think the stress does make sense, right? Um, we're going to go on a hunt. Oh, cool. We've got an 85% chance of piercing the rabbit, and this guy is putting a bet of 500 gold down on that. We become a hunter. And we succeeded. Cool. We became a hunter. And he, again, this guy betting 500 gold. Jesus, that's like a, that's 10 months of our kingdom's wealth. Where the hell did you get that? <laughs> what a guy. Um, they've uncovered the scheme to instigate a revolt on this guy. But we can just pretend that we don't know. He doesn't know who's doing it. And we can pretend that, you know, oh, we're a little suspicious. Maybe that's not the case. Of course, that's what you would say if you were trying to go into a vault. Someone's scheming against you. That doesn't seem right. Um... A fine day like this and the weather is nice. The passage of Imola look great and the local livestock are jumping and cheering in their own guttural manner. A fine morning to behold, my lord. Are these beauties not a sight? Um, I see if we can't improve things around here. We can try and offer him some advice. Or we can apply some of this back home. I think we'll go for it. We do get a lot of taxes if we can pull this off. Oh, we fucked it. <laughs> Through a long day, I travel across the horizon. Careful, my caravan leader, Vasay, screams, pointing at the planes beyond the path to follow. A brown figure I easily recognize. It's a small rodent running into the wild. And after it, a brown figure I easily recognize. Who's... What's happened? Oh, no! It's Sunshine! It's Sunshine! Oh, God, he's chasing... A we bought Sunshine on the journey! Oh, shit. No, Sunshine! VC, follow him! Oh, shit. Which is the highest chance to save Sunshine? 50% chance it may come back on its own. 45% chance it will find its way back. 5% chance you find your pet and did something else. You find your pet and something else. Oh, God. I'll personally find you. 43% chance. Quick, everybody after him. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. We found it. Uh, it doesn't take much to track down the growling of broken twig uh, twigs. Sunshine sits over a leaf litter, licking his brown paws from the blood of his victim. The squirrel is almost unrecognizable. I knew you'd be successful. Well done. Yeah, the cat, we gained some prowess because the cat is stronger. I'll never take my eyes off you again. Oh, he was worried about his poor cat. Yesterday, our travels were rather grueling because we were chasing a fucking cat across the Italian countryside. Yeah, we'll lose a little stress and we'll gain some more stewardship lifestyles, but surely we've got to be close to be able to take the perk, right? Uh, oh, one more, one more sight. Cool. I noticed that Turtogol avoids me more than usual. He sits at the opposite end of the table. We don't have the best of relationships, but he is defaming me. Cannoli is an evil scullying. I'd be a way better king than him. You want to know how it is? I'll show you. Fight him. You win the fight and make him leave. Good. How dare you? What a, what a, what a traitor. And there it is. We've got a lifestyle perk. Very cool. Golden obligations. There's a wolf. There is a wolf. This man deserves my help. Are we going to fight a wolf? Of course. We need to show how generous and kind we are. Oh, we did not beat the wolf. We got wounded. <laughs> and the guy died. What a shocker. But look, we've taken a small flesh wound to prove what a nice and good man we are. We're not a nice and good man. Um, give me some payments. If you're going to take Venice from me, you can at least pay me for the, for the privilege of that. What am I going to do with these hooks on these family members otherwise, huh? Pardon my friend Moran the second. Absolutely not. We're keeping him that hook absolutely on him. There is a trodden path. Sorry, this tour's going to go on for a while. I want to wrap it up today, though. Um... As a, as a path events. Uh, okay. Fine, we'll find another path. It's too kind. 
This might stress him out more than ever. We found the Etruscan walls. Shall we distribute blessed coins? We gain 100 piety. Orbitello gains sacred touch, giving some benefits. We've cost 500 gold. We've got to prove how good this man is. This guy is here for pizza. My nose is drawn to a lowly stack stall with a dish I could only dream of. I'm pulling out my haze by the halting grass of Euphemia. Do not waste your palate on the salt, my lord. Pizza are for peasants. No! This guy is a real junk food. You know, like how I, I said last time, every character needs uh, like a strength, a weakness, and uh, and like a, like a hook, something to get them going. Our previous character, his strength was his, his ability to scheme. His weakness was his lustful nature. And then, of course, his drive was, was doing everything we did. This guy's weakness is junk food. The food was amazing. It's Italian pizza, right? Ooh, we lost a trait wounded. Hey, there we go. Um, my new paramour. Oh, this lovely lady. Marcella de Orbitello. Is she any good? Nah, she's like average. They cannot give you a love away so freely. No, I, t I totally agree. St. Peter's Basilica. Very nice. Uh, and we gained the trade traveler. Oh, shit. Just because we've seen so many sites then, huh? Not bad. Okay, it gives us a little diplomacy. We also got hunting from this journey too. Man, I should be going on more tours. <laughs> you just get so many benefits, huh? Great. We visited the Terracina Cathedral as well. Uh, this guy wants to join us. I'll accept your invite. Go to a banquet. Oh, he's inviting us to his banquet. Um, sure. Sure. This guy's not paranoid, but let's go with it. The oil lamp casts a light so feeble that it's nearly imperceptible. An old servant serves us food, fish, unspiced. Mmm, a British delicacy. Curador Martino seems a bit too nervous, talking about the difficulties of ruling in such a poor area. The last priest we, we had left after a couple of months, putting away the watered wine. He breaks into a crying mess. I must be honest with you. My intention was inviting you here to steal from you, dear Lord. I hope you can forgive me. <sighs> here, have this and don't steal from me again. Now, we've got to ask ourselves, to what level are we keeping up this facade? Because if we do this, this is going to stress him out nonstop. Now, look, a guy going across the realm to lie to everybody for months on end would stress him out. Years on end, to be honest. Let's forget this even happened. I think... Oh, I just don't know. I think we let him take the break on this one. Stay focused. Yeah, I agree. It's for a few more months, my friend. Oh, we got another stewardship perk. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, look, it's for a few more months, okay? It's for a few more months, then he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be great. He's gonna be fantastic. What do you think? Um, Herigel gives 10% tax from vassals. That gives Monthly and Kamala War at 10%. Extort the subjects. Taxman just gives 25% collect tax for Edmund, so that'd be pretty good. Collecting cornerstones reduces building construction costs, which could be very good as well. Honestly, I would rather just take the, the flat cash than lock ourselves into to, like cutting cornerstones where we can only really do buildings with that. And at long last, we're bloody home. What a journey. There it is. Look at that. We have gone to... We're going to have to go through everything here. It's going to be very confusing. We've gone up to Majesty Level 4. Amazing. That's the first ever tour in CK3 that I think I've ever, ever maxed out like that. 1,000 prestige, 150 renown. Every vassal gains 40 opinion. Uh, every uh, parochial vassal gains 40 opinion. Every vassal you visited gains 25 opinion. We gain it, 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 itinerant liege. For 20 years, well, we gain a level of fame too, that's cool. Um, which in turn gives us 15% vassal tax. Uh, we also gain development growth. 15% vassal tax for 20 years, that's great. Development growth in round capital is increased. We've lost our stress now. Um, so I'm glad we did kind of stick with what we've got there. Uh, we gain 600 renown. All of our knights gain a bunch of glory. That's cool. And look, all of our vassals, we've gone from a, you know, almost university disliked by our vassals to almost university liked by our vassals. And they're still intimidated. Because we have a dreadful reputation, but we've only done nice things. We've only done kind things. Because we're arbitrary. Oh my god, our benefits give us just a natural level of dread. Because of our inventory artifacts, because we're an entry course here, and we're arbitrary. Our dread level is already so high that our vassals are in line even though we're a kind fella. This is like the perfect combination of deceit and... Nah. Of deceit and everything else. And now we get schema. What does that give us? Like, plus five intrigue or something? Lun lunatic like that? Something crazy? Yeah, plus five intrigue. Cost our scheme power up by 25%. Uh, 
Amazing. We are up to 39 intrigue after today. The vassals love us. This guy has built himself up a reputation as a kindly, good, generous ruler. The Pope is on side. We're up to 212 piety, gaining two piety per month. Uh, obviously, we're legendary, but that was not relevant. And we're already exalted amongst men, with progress going towards the living legend as well. In a short period of time, this man's reputation is spotless. It is clean. And more importantly, we've almost dealt with the whole feud. The Sicily succession is the only thing I'm a little bit peeved with, but that's okay. We've almost got back all of our titles back into the realm directly. And overall... Ooh. Uh, my agent has been discovered. That's okay. As long as he does not leak the rebellion plot, we should be fine. As the cherry on the cake for today's hideous episode, we're throwing a child out the window. She died. She fell by accident. Nobody knows. Very good. The final cherry on the cake today would, of course, be... Uh, would, of course, be getting back Sardinia. Wow, we can't try a murder plot again for a long time. That was totally my mistake doing what I did. Canceling that plot, or more specifically switching the plot, was was not right. That was that was totally on me. We're going to murder this lady instead then. That's fine. Hopefully the rebellion will fire. Bonbon Apathy. Ooh, he's captured another agent. The child is dead, but nobody knows. Wait. Oh, we were overrun by stress because we killed a child. That's all. Um, look at that. Carling is far ahead. Okay, so in theory, we should be able to end this feud soon, right? Because if we can get out the feud, then it's murder plots that I can focus on our realm rather than... Oh, we should really join that wedding. I'm going to decline because we've we've lost a lot of progress with all of this all of this other stuff that we've been pissing around with today. What about the feud? What happens with that? Please, Judica Robar Mules. This is insane. Grudge has got to stop. I jump at the nearest mention of a Luca Rovieto. My vassal is clearly shaken. I'm torn between the risk posed to my family and the need to teach Duke Gerardo a lesson. Shall we end it? Shall we end it? It's time this was done for. As long as we gain formidable, which is the highest, I'm happy to see it through. We, Because we're vengeful and arbitrary, we gain a lot of stress. But if we don't end this now, we're going to be wasting a lot of plots on killing a massive dynasty. 75 living members. It was 72 before we started murdering everybody. We could never finish this if we keep going at this rate. I think in this situation, we take the stress and we accept the victory. It's like, sure, we're getting stressed, but we're also getting a lot. I feel like it's a net neutral. The character is not happy about it. He would have killed for years. But again, he's an intelligent guy. He's also arbitrary. So he's like, yeah, I'm done with it now. I'm, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm moving on with this feud. I think that's okay, personally. And I think I'm happy with what we've done today. Thank you for joining me. A long episode, but we really have established this character. I think we've built him really well. And that's what's important to me quite a lot. More than anything else. Tomorrow... Let's get some acceleration going. I want Sicily. We're taking that into the dynasty one way or another. I want to reunify all these titles. If we can find a way to uh, get that seniority succession that somebody said would allow us to keep all of the titles unified under one character, I'm happy to do it. If it's a base game mechanic, it's a little cheesy, I will admit, but I'm happy to do it because this guy is arbitrary. And that allows me to hand wave away a lot of bullshit. See you all tomorrow. <laughs>